Dan, many Tottenham fans saying Pedro Porro is it done? Sporting Lisbon to Tottenham. We know he's here, isn't he? Mm. Right, flew he's into medical. London last night. Yeah. Medical today. What is it? Forty million. Forty million. But it's a the deal is a loan first with an obligation. I like the word the use of obligation to buy in the summer for a fee believed to be in the region of yeah. forty million, and that's contractually just financially what just it clever. sounds like works, it's works clever for Spurs. Daniel as well yeah. because he's getting a player that he doesn't have to pay for till the summer if you watch what Liverpool did last year they had to bring the forward to signing of Diaz because they were going to get him in the summer Spurs were sniffing around and it triggered the transfer deal being brought forward for the selling club it's just clever from Daniel who's got a £42 million player for six months for no transfer fee beside his wages Dan thank you very much indeed for the time being let's stick with another Daniel Daniel Levy as you mentioned there Simon so Dan Juma is already in Tottenham agreeing this deal with Sporting Lisbon for Pedro Porro to join them uh, for a fee just under £40 million quid. you talked about Daniel Levy there has he done enough this window to show Conte the ambition to make him see his long term future is indeed with Tottenham Oh, cart and horses. Who works for who? Um, whatever you give a football manager will never be enough. So um, if they don't go win the next few games, <laughs> it'll not be enough. If suddenly Tottenham have an upturn in form, it'll be more convincing and compelling for Antonio Conte. What an awful position to be in, where the employer is dictating the shape and direction of travel. Um, no, I think the answer is no, because Tottenham need more to be able to be as competitive as their fans would want them to be. You know, I made an observation. It wasn't about all Tottenham fans the other day. It was about the Tottenham fans that were singing Levy out that I thought were idiots because there are two sides to every single story. Yeah, and whilst yeah. Daniel can do more economically yeah. than, than, than perhaps he is doing, there isn't a necessity to say Levy out. So no is the answer. I, okay. don't think, I don't think there's nothing you can do for a manager like Antonio Conte unless he wins. And of course, if he doesn't win, it'll be your fault anyway. Yeah. And the winning bit, surely, is his responsibility. Well, that's my point. Exactly. So there, there is the irony of the situation, because if this player gets slotted into the team and all of a sudden if the team starts to fly, you'll not hear any murmurings from Antonio Conte. Everything will settle down and maybe he'll sign his contract in the summer and we'll go away from this ever-decreasing race to the bottom of what's going to happen with Conte. But the point is, is that I don't think it will be enough. To, and to get them to Champions League football? No, no I think that there's a... The challenge is, if New, unless Newcastle have a real decline, who... Are Tottenham space and place they're going to take, mm. and, I, and just, I, I just don't. As much as it might, people might think I want Newcastle to decline. I do not. Besides the fact I don't want to lose any money to you um, and the bet. But the point is, is that Newcastle are in such a rich vein of form mm. that you begin to think that they'll be in the top four. So, I, I think they might drop out into the top into the top six, but I don't know if Tottenham are going to be the team to jump in and, and take their place. Jim White and Simon Jordan. Monday to Friday mornings from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.